purpose of the anchors is to hold the ship in an offshore position without the use of the propulsion system. Merchant ships are generally required to carry two bower anchors and a spare bower which are invariably of the stockless type for easy stowage. The anchor shackle at the top of the anchor is connected to the anchor cable made in lengths of 27.5 meters or 15 fathoms and are called shackles. There may be 8 to 9 shackles of chain to each bower anchor, each length joined to the other by lugless joining shackles. These shackles are composed of three different parts. The two parts of the link slide into the inbuilt slots and are locked in position by the stud piece. A tapered metal pin is hammered into the link to lock the three parts. On receiving instructions for anchoring, preparations similar to that for arrival are made. In the pre-anchoring meeting, all aspects of anchoring, including anchoring position, nature of bottom, tides and expected weather conditions are discussed. On deck, the windlass is tried out and the anchor prepared. It is recommended that the anchor be lowered under power just above the water level and kept ready for letting go. The anchor can now be dropped by control rates or when anchoring in deeper waters, it can be walked back under power until the required cable is laid out. But before letting go, ensure that all is clear under the anchor or else. The anchor holds better with a longer cable and a length of six times the depth of water is generally recommended. Once the vessel has been brought up, the brakes should be completely applied, the drive gear disengaged and the bow stopper put on. The bow stopper helps in relieving the strain on the windlass when the ship is at anchor and secures the anchors when the ship is at sea. STS or ship to ship operation involves two ships of different sizes moving together in a designated offshore lightering area for cargo operations. The ship to be lightered is commonly referred to as STBL while the other vessel is called the lightering vessel or service ship. Such operations may take place when one ship is at anchor or when both are underway and are normally conducted during daylight. Usually, the larger of the two ships maintains a steady course at a slow speed of 4 to 6 knots, keeping the wind and sea on the port bow unless an alternate approach is indicated by local conditions. The maneuvering ship approaches the constant heading ship from the quarter on the side of berthing. On closer approach, she parallels the course of the constant heading ship at a safe distance appropriate to the prevailing conditions. She then positions herself relative to the constant heading ship and makes contact after reducing the distance by appropriate engine and rudder movements. Once in position, mooring lines are passed as per a predetermined mooring plan. Lines should only be led through class approved closed leads. The operation is of a high pollution risk and should be aborted in case of too much wind 
or swell or if the masters of either of the ships have the slightest doubt about the safety of the maneuver. During the pre-SDS plenum meeting, the crew should be fully briefed on the procedures and hazards with particular reference to mooring, unmooring and good means of communication based on guidelines from the OCIMF Ship-to-Ship -ship Transfer Guide. Checklists are essential reminders of the principal safety factors to be considered and adhering to them will ensure that the most important aspects of an operation are covered from the planning stage to completion and unmoving. For combating emergencies, a contingency plan should be agreed upon by both ships. Oil spill containment equipment and firefighting equipment should be ready for immediate use. Main engines, steering gear and moving equipment should be kept in a state of readiness. Mooring and anchoring operations require skill, patience and pre-planning. A well-planned operation carried out smoothly can give immense satisfaction to the ship's personnel. Safety through knowledge is the key to a successful mooring and anchoring operation.